Hey you guys, welcome back to Leanne's Corner. Oh my gosh, it is like one o'clock in the morning and I am up doing this video for you guys because I love you guys. I love doing this and I it gives the my channel gives me somewhere to like vent about this stuff and give my opinion and everything first start this video off by clicking that thumbs up button like this video comment share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't so this computer has been giving me hell for the last few days well for the last freaking week or two and the keyboard doesn't work i have to use the on screen keyboard and i hate it because the last video i edited it and it was just it was it took a long time and I don't think if if the keyboard was working the way it was supposed to the way it's supposed to it wouldn't have, have taken me that long. This computer is doing all kinds of crap. It's clicking like if I watch my favorite YouTube videos or favorite channels, they it will like I'll be in the middle of watching it and then it'll automatically start over and then or it'll all automatically skip to the um end and it's like oh my gosh like and me and the kids with the ipad and i hate watching videos on my phone unless i'm at work because like n half of the time then i'm just listening to like people who do the same thing i do like talk about celebrities and what's going on around the world because that is like a radio station i can just listen to it but this computer already um already got whacked <laughs> like i am bam hit it and they cut off <laughs> I'm trying I'm like you should have never done that because like just calm down and I have to use this computer for school I have and I had a paper that was due that this yeah this past week and I was like, I got to go to the computer lab because I can't sit here and be using the online, um, the on-screen keyboard because it was, it'll take too long. But anyway, my aunt is out of the hospital, you guys. She is doing better. The only thing is that she can't drive for six months and the, she has four kids and the oldest is 16. So I know it's going to be hard, but I just pray that my family in Alabama will do all they can to help her because she needs it. And I'm going to just continue to pray for her and pray for my family and stuff. And you guys continue to do the same. Okay, on to this Colorado planning parenthood shooting. They calling it a crime against women. So, at a Planned Parenthood center, a man by the name of Robert Deere went and killed three people, and he injured five officers and injured four civilians, and they're, at this point, they're hospitalized. And they don't know what the man's motive was, or what it, you know, they don't know what his motive was, and they believe he is the suspect. So... I'm going to just keep these people in my prayers and this Planned Parenthood or whatever, I guess it, you know, he, he doesn't like the whole idea of, of abortion and so he wanted to take matters into his own hands, but like, that is not the way. I hate that the people that got killed had to get killed. I hate the people that got injured had got injured, like, it's ridiculous. All this killing for nothing. Like, oh my gosh, you got people committing suicide, but when they commit suicide, they want to take a thousand people with them. Like, if you're going to commit suicide, I hate to say this, but if you're going to commit suicide, commit it. Don't bring these people along with you. And don't even, like, talk to someone. Get on camera like I do and vent. You don't have to post these for these videos or anything. Just get on camera and vent, and then go back and watch and think. You know, think about if you having suicidal thoughts, be seen by someone. If you can't afford to get seen by someone like me, even though I don't need to be seen by anyone, but um, 
Yeah, just get on camera and vent. Take a pen and a pad and just vent. Um, if you're, you know, get on your computer or get on your phone and just text or type in about how it is that you're feeling and let release it or confine in the frame. Or, you know, like, you know, just don't do that. And I just can't see how people can just do stuff like that. That is just ridiculous. They hate it. It didn't have nothing to do with them. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just ridiculous. I, we got to continue to pray for our country and pray for other countries as well. Moving on to this Jaleel Aquaphor fight. Okay, Jaleel Aquaphor is a NBA player for the 76ers. <laughs> 76ers, you guys. And... He got into a fight with this guy. He was out in Boston at a nightclub and with his friends, and he got into a fight and an argument with this guy. Now, the guy yells out, the 76ers suck. And um, Jaleel Aquafor said, we got money, you broke-ass nigga. So um, they got into a scuffle, so the friends broke it up. Then, with Jaleel being 6'11", of course he got away. He swung and hit the guy, knocked the guy to the ground. And, um, the guy tried to hit him and he missed. And when the guy tried to hit him, I guess, when the guy got up, they just went their separate ways. So, and this is all according to TMZ and Yahoo. Now, the man filed the police report. And he said that he had he needs stitches over one of his eyes or whatever. And the reason why Jaleel was upset and got violent with him, it wasn't because he was getting heckled. It was because these two women, I guess Jaleel was trying to talk to two women. And the women was like, nah, nigga, like, we ain't got time for you or whatever. So that's the guy saying that's why he got mad. Now, Jaleel saying that is not the case. He said he was just getting heckled. So, um, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Like, I understand that he's 19. And I understand, like, he's, he gets hot-headed. Like, I'm still in that hot-headed stage. I done totally changed a whole lot from what I used to be. But... I hope he just uses this and, you know, like, don't let what people say, um, you know, don't take it to that level to where you get into another fight because athletes are getting kicked off teams because of what goes on in their personal lives. So I just really hope he learns from this. And he also said that he's embarrassed of his actions and that about the fight because it should never happen. And I'm glad that he realized that. I just hope that if another incident like this happens to where someone is picking on him, he just be like, you know, brush it off and keep on walking. Because I have to remind myself, you know, to just keep on going. Don't worry about it. So I really hope he gets that together. Now, this whole Kylie and Tyga thing, like, it's just... It's stupid to me, to be honest. Like, are they coming out with their own reality show? Or do they got something in the works for us? Like, what is it? Because this whole them, them breaking up and then they getting together and then they're supposed to be engaged. And all this, it, it sounds so made up. It really does. And I really don't like Kylie like that. But I just do it because I know some of you guys may be interested. If you're not interested in it, I won't do no more Kylie um, Kylie and Tyga stories anymore. But okay, according to TMZ, Tyga is moving out of Kylie's home. Now, a source close to the couple are saying that um, the reason why they decided that Tiger should move out is because of the whole whose career is more important thing and they feel as though they're around each other too much 
now I can understand that. Yeah, they are seen. They are seen together too much, and so I feel as though yeah, they're with each other 24/7. Now, this is what I have to say. Kylie, don't expect this man to be faithful to you now that he done moved out now. Because they say the same way you get him is the same way you lose him. This whole moving out thing, I honestly, to me, I hate to have to say this and I don't wish no one bad on no type of relationship or anything that they do. But I honestly do believe that this relationship is not going to last. I believe she's going to get cheated on. He might get cheated on. Like, you never know. Like... Look at how she, how her and Jaden was like. You didn't see her and Jaden in the tabloids like that. You never seen them out there in the media like that at all. Like you seen the few pictures and stuff of them, but you never really seen anything of them like that. So I honestly think this isn't gonna last. Him moving out is probably gonna be like. Um, I can do whatever I want to do now or, you know, on both ends. So it might be a Nicki Minaj's hard thing, you guys. You never know. But anyway, I want to say congratulations to Ice T and Coco for their beautiful bundle of joy Chanel, who came out to be five, five pounds, seven ounces, eight, 18 inches. And oh my goodness, she, I believe she was born Saturday. I know they said that the picture was posted Saturday right after giving birth, but she could have probably had the baby Friday. But anyway, the baby is so beautiful and she's so tiny. Oh my goodness, so small. And I am so happy for them. Like, and I know it's gonna probably be weird because Ice T has grandkids and their grandkids are gonna be older, but hey. It's like that. I have an uncle who's younger than me. I believe he's 19, 20. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so since you're the uncle, like, and I'm the oldest, do you listen to your, you know, like, I, do you got to listen to your elders? I believe that's how it works. But he'll spoil a little thing. But anyway, I'm so happy for this couple and happy that they had a healthy baby. The baby arrived safe and sound, you know. I am so happy for them. I always loved Coco and Ice Tea. I always thought they was a beautiful couple. But anyway, you guys, I am finna get me some rest. I am so tired. I believe you guys can hear it in my voice. And I'm finna make my son go to sleep because he's still up on this YouTube watching Annoying Orange. If you watch Annoying Orange videos, thumbs up this video. Anyway, thumbs up this video anyway comment like and subscribe and share this video on facebook or wherever you share it on but anyway you guys have a lovely night and i have been to get in my bed and go to sleep i have church in the morning so you guys have a blessed night <laughs>